Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I hosted a swap on your paper pantry where we are using up our stash to make embellishment clusters. And if you don't know what these are, these can be used anywhere. You can put them on a card, you can put them on a scrapbook page, you can put them in a mini album, a pocket letter, a flip book. What's all, what else is hot and handy right now? You can use them for, um, oh, to clip a bag shut, like a gift bag or a lunch bag, whatever you want. So, <clears throat> you can put them in a basket and look at them. Um, so I, I, okay, here's what I do. I'm like a paper hoarder. Uh, when I do a project, every little bit in scrap, if it's big enough, I put in a box, and I have three boxes. One is called solids, one is called patterns, and one is called itty bits, okay? So the itty bits would be like the strips from the top of the um, 12 by 12 papers, or little scraps about this size or whatever. And then the patterns are larger pieces, like I go by a, oops, sorry. I go by a certain size, like if it's this big, that goes in my larger, you know, my pattern box. And then that can even be up to this big, whatever fits in the box. And then the solids, of course, is solid paper, solid colors. So I pulled out my itty bits and pulled out, and I just went through and I just grabbed. I didn't go, oh, well, this would be fun to use. I just went in and I didn't even look. I pulled some out, picked up another layer, pulled some out. And then I pulled out my, a bunch of, border punches, a bunch of, like a couple heart punches, a bird punch, um, circles, scallop circles, non-scallops, and I, I only use punches, so like I could go back and do this again using die cuts, but what I did is I punched out a bunch of stuff, grabbed some of the strips and did borders, um, a lot of it I tore, I like the tore look, torn look with this, um, project. This is actually a scallop scissors, you know those old scallop scissors. Um, and then you just go at, you go to town. Oh no, 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 I lied, I lied, I lied. Then I put them in colors piles. So like blues and greens, soups, blacks and neutrals, um, reds and oranges, and then kind of a, a rusty, not rusty, but um, kind of a fall, winter pile. Like I had a bunch of Christmas stuff and I had Thanksgiving, not just holiday, but more kind of those, you know, autumn-y colors and winter or Christmas. So anyways, and then, so first I, um, and I kind of left stuff like this. If there's any words on anything, I make sure to highlight it. So this is Cosmo Cricket. This is, I think this is Cosmo Cricket too. It looks like the type and then this was one of the recollections hot pie pads don't remember what that is so then I just grabbed my bin of ribbons I have a couple American crafts ribbons you know those tubes you get or whatever and then I grabbed my bin of laces and trims and went to town and this was so much fun these some of these I stapled because I kept jamming up my sewing machine. Oh, I'll tell you why later, but so here's this one. Love it. And you got to just free your mind of what you know about color and what goes together in patterns cuz like these patterns kind of they work together but they don't go together. Like this is a little more modern. This is, you know, art deco. That's probably more Moroccan, I would say. You know, so I mean, you just got to kind of let go of what colors work together. These blues are all different. Especially that. That doesn't go with that blue or that blue. But it pulls it all together. So. And then after I got done all of them. Sewing or stapling them. Getting done. Then I pulled out my enamel dots. And, and um, rhinestones and pearls. And decorated them. Okay. So there's that one. I love them. They're so much fun. Oh and this. I had this punch out too. And this is, I was going to keep the Nantucket 
oyster bar and then I got sewing and whoops that didn't work and this is kind of the Robin Marie O. Smith school of thought is to leave the tails and I like that you know if you want when you get decorating whatever it is you might want to cut those off maybe not these would be great in journals travelers notebooks I knew there was something I forgot I love this and I offset this heart but not enough but I think it's okay like I could put a little couple pearls up here to make it look like I was on purpose when it was but here's an, a good example is using primitive ticking with sequins and lace because ticking is more you know poor <laughs> you don't have lace and glitter so you know what I'm saying this one I love this is Martha's um, butterfly punch and then one of her gorgeous lace dies and here's this again that that paper and then this is like a basic gray these are from some other collection and here's these these I made little pockets and one tip <laughs> decorate your pocket before you glue it on I glued it on and I was like oh darn I forgot to decorate it or I, you know, forgot I was gonna. But it was okay. I was able to. I just stapled stuff where I could then. So I like that. This is that American Crafts. And like that was just a little snip of this. So I thought, you know, I will throw it away. Just use it. And that's what you're doing. You're, you're using the stuff you would probably throw away. This is that Craft Smart paper that everybody had. The T one, I think. I love this. I love this, how it turned out. Like that's Heidi Swap paper from her Sugar Chic. And then here down here, there's a little, I punched out some flowers. So I just used that. And here's a bigger pocket that I made out of um, one of the journal cards that comes with the paper pad. And this was one too. I. I glued it on before I decorated it. But there's that. This is um, a birthday pack that I can't remember who makes it. Super cool. So there's the folders. And then here's another piece. This was a piece that God only knows why I had it in my itty bits, but I kind of thought this was cut out from a cricket or a silhouette whatever this project was, but I thought it would be kind of cute to keep that, so I did. And again, here's some cowboy print with the ticking, a little polka dot. Another little piece. Put stickles on that one. This die is great. So much fun but I will tell you this and this is just me maybe you're different I do take a break like I get to a point where it's like okay I'm done I just can't I can't be random anymore I need structure for a little while so then I got to shut down and um, come back to it like the next day or whatever and I love this you know this is just the paper had the hole so I left it cute with the love and the roller skates. Oh, I like this one too. <laughs> At least I like them, right? This is some, um, uh, oh crap, Hug Snug seam binding that I, um, colored. I just put out, um, on a plastic, you know, like on a plastic sheet. I put down, just rub my distress inks on the plastic sheet and then spritzed it with a little water and then just got a bunch of this white um, seam binding, crumbled it up and ran it through the ink and this is what you get. It's all these different, it's, it's the own ombre effect. Oh, this one's fun too. Somebody gave me this um, 
Life is an adventure. Oh, life's life's an adventure. Almost, you know, Dollar Tree sticker. Life is adventure. So I love that. That's um, from that tea, I think, paper. And that's just another from a roller ribbon. So I did a couple of those. I like this. I just love them. This is from a, that one stamp I got at a sale. It's all about love. So I just cut up some of the words. And these are the strips from the paper. Top of the 12 by 12s. This is just some, what you call it, hemp or whatever. I made a couple of those. I made three of these. Four of them. I liked them. Here's a couple of these. It's a fun way to use up just a little bit of ribbon that you might, you know what I mean? That's just it. You can't keep every little bits and piece, I know. But And then this is the Martha Bird stamp. No, Stampin' Ups. Bird Punch. And this is from Tasha Boyd, this ribbon. She makes that. And I found, I kind of like how the black and white really kind of pops things out. Or just the black. You know? Another one of those. These are cute. Bill said, are those band-aids? I'm like, oh my gosh, she's got such a cute eye. That would be cute to make band-aids like that though. Or you know, like use them as a get well card. There it is, I like that, I made a bunch. If anybody wants me to do a video on my process, it would be a little scary to watch. They blame me. It's like a little bird. Is it a magpie that likes shiny stuff? It's like a little bird putting his little nest together. Just grabs a little this and that. This is adorable. I love it. The bike. I love that bike ribbon. That was from Michael's. It used to be called the dollar fifty bin. And I got those on clearance last fall, I think. Last summer. So that's what I've done so far. They are too much fun, I'm not kidding. You gotta do it. But yeah, if you want me to do a video, I sure will. Cause it's fun. Um, oh, and then another person to watch is Scrappy Bookmarks 1, Cynthia. She makes awesome embellishments. And then when I get all my swaps in from all the girls that signed up, I will show those too. Um, so, thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, come and join us at Your Paper Pantry. It's $12 a year, and we do a lot of swaps, crafty swaps, and you can learn from people, you can inspire people, and you can meet new people. All for fun. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.